Now I'm going to go over the sketch code for this application. I called it uh, Cardiograph. And uh, this is basically straight from Pulse Sensor Amp's website uh, or their, their GitHub site. I downloaded it and uh, installed it, got it working. And uh, didn't really change it that much. Uh, <clears throat> so basically I left everything intact, all the comments and everything. In fact, I had all of this set up, the uh, LED blinking and fading. Uh, but I took it all apart because uh, I felt like the increased light, every time you get a pulse, you get all this light from the LEDs, I felt that was actually affecting the uh, pulse sensor's um, light readings because it's basically using photo resistance to detect your pulse. So if you have all sorts of lights flashing, that could uh, cause all sorts of noise. So I, I turned that off. You can turn it on if you want and <clears throat> set it up, uh, put all the wires together. It's pretty simple, so I'm not going to go into it here. They go into all of that uh, on their website. So I'm just going to scroll through this really quick. Like I said, I really didn't change too much. Uh, you know, you go through your loop. It basically prints out the serial data, whether or not there's uh, a beat or not. And this just controls some of the LED functions and setting a serial. It's pretty simple and like I said I didn't really change any of this. Uh, so I'll show you what, what else we have here. We've got some interrupt code. Again I did not change any of this. I just set up the uh, the correct pins. You just plug this pull sensor into the correct spots on your Arduino and it should work fine. I'll just scroll through this really quick so that if you want to copy this code down uh, before I get it uploaded, uh, you can do so. But I will post a link to upload or uh, download this code on GitHub. Just give me a little time. And this is just the timer interrupt notes. It's just a, a page of comments, really. So you really don't even need this at all. Um, but if you want it for reference, uh, it's there. All right, now I'm going to show you what's going on in the serial monitor. Just to show you what uh, this Arduino sketch is doing, it's basically just uh, sending data to the serial port, which will later be picked up by the uh, processing application that uh, does all the heartbeat analysis. So I'm going to give you a little show here. I'm not actually touching the thing right now. I'm going to pick it up. Just picked it up. And now it should start getting uh, some beat information. Hopefully, if uh, I'm holding on to this thing correctly. And it, you can kind of see it there. Every now and then, it's going to change. And I, I'll stop this in a second so that you can uh, see what's going on. One of the key things you want to remember here is just to set up your baud rate correctly. Make sure your serial port is set up for uh, the correct baud rate, the one that's being used in the code. And I'll show you. Down here. Right here. All right. You want to make sure those match. Uh, if they don't, all this data is going to come out <laughs> all messed up. For example, I'll put on 9600 here. See what happens? It just, you know, if that's what you're getting, that's probably the reason. You don't have, those things aren't matching. So make sure they match. And you're also going to make sure those match in your uh, processing sketch. If they don't, again, it's just not gonna, they're not going to talk. They're not going to understand each other. So that's something to be aware of. I know uh, some people have problems with that. They, they just don't change the baud rate. All right, I'm going to turn auto scroll off just to give you a little idea of what's going on here. Basically, it's sending uh, the signal data, S, and that's just what the pulse sensor uh, is sending to the Arduino and what the Arduino is reading. 500 is sort of the baseline. You know, you've got a value, or 512, basically you've got... You know, value between 1024 and 0, or 0 and 1024, so 512 would be the middle. The middle. So it's going to be hovering right around there as a baseline. The B is that's the bits per minute, uh, 76 bits per minute, and that's being calculated uh, by the module and sent to the Arduino. <clears throat> uh, and basically, that I think that's just using a 10 bit average. It's just calculating the IBI which you have uh, basically down here. 386 is my interbeat interval. 
Um, so it's calculating that information and it's sending it off. 386 is not a very good interval. See, this is more correct, 1058. So that other one, three, that's pretty low. It's probably, a, you know, a bad reading. This is probably a correct reading, 80 beats per minute. Again, this is the uh, 10 beat average. This is, does not reflect this. This is uh, beat by beat. So, you know, this is really more around 60 beats per minute, and this just hasn't dropped down to it yet. Anyways, uh, that should give you a good idea of what this sketch is doing. And if you want to get a head start uh, copying down the code, it's here in the video, but I will post a link to GitHub so that you can download all this. Uh, thanks for watching, and now I'm going to go on to the uh, processing sketch. All right, just for reference, I want to show you uh, some of the code that I used in my sketch <clears throat> to create the the Hertz plot graph. Um, this is from Pulse Sensor's website uh, or their GitHub site, and uh, I'll probably post some links to that stuff in my instructable. Anyways, it's the Pulse Sensor Amped HRV Frequency Domain application, and I'll. St uh, I really didn't change any of this. I just got it set up so that it would work with my um, Arduino, and I basically just set up the COM port. So, anyways, it does work, and I'll show you that in a minute. Although the code, I, I didn't really like the way the application was behaving, and I'll show you in just a minute. It, uh, it prints dots all over the screen, and um, it's got a running waveform, which is visually appealing. It's, it looks cool, but it's, it makes it difficult, in my opinion, to analyze the waveform because it's constantly moving. You know, it's, it, in my opinion, if it's stationary, you can actually get a better idea of what it looks like. Of course, you can always take screen captures and do the same thing. Anyways, this is the code. and uh, I'm not going to go over it all, but this is a disclaimer. I just think it's funny. It says, this code released into the public domain without promises that it will work for your intended application or that it will work at all for that matter. <laughs> I hereby disclaim. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of a funny disclaimer. Basically saying that, uh, you know, do what you want with this. We don't necessarily even uh, guarantee that it's going to work. So it's got this page, key pressed, event page, which for me does not work at all. And then the serial event. And you guys can go over that stuff on your own. I'm not going to go over it too much because, um, yeah, I'll provide a link to download it, but it's not my code. I'm not going to go over it. Anyways, I will show you it here in operation. So, uh, put my finger on the sensor here. And as you can see, it is uh, trying to print out my pulse data here. Give it a second to get my finger positioned properly. And see what we get. Alright, so I guess it's doing its thing and 1200 that seems more realistic I don't know if you can see this thing printing out the dots <clears throat> um, it will it will do it in all sorts of different spots I don't know if you notice this little one down here off the window um, if I hold on long enough it's gonna start printing dots probably all over the place oh, see we got one over here in this window now got one, oh, got some up here <laughs> So, I mean, it works, but uh, it's not that well behaved. I, I, my graph, I took the same sort of data, but I constrained everything to keep it inside the window. So anyways, I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, how I used someone else's code. But basically, I believe it's the company that makes this little sensor. It's their code. And I took it and made my own application, which in my opinion... Yeah, you know, works better. So there you go. Thanks.